Hi, everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'm sharing with you a set of cards made with the October 2024 sheet load of cards template created by Alicia of Call Me Crafty Al. Every month on the 1st, she creates these great templates, which she shares on her YouTube channel for free. You can get your free template from her channel, and the link is below. This video is part of a collaboration with other amazing designers. Make sure to also see what everyone has created this month. You can use the playlist link or team link list in the description box below to jump around and watch them all. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner. With the PDF instructions this month, you can make six cards with just two sheets of six by six pattern paper. The pattern paper that I decided to use is called a little bit festive. It does come in a 12 by 12, but I just cut it down to six by six so that you can kind of see the patterns and the template calls for six by six. So that's a really easy way to um, use your 12 by 12, obviously for six by six templates like this one. These are the two patterns that I decided to use on my cards. You can see them here. The other fun thing about this pack is that it does include one sheet of each of these double-sided patterns. And then it also includes three sheets of ephemera. And the three sheets are all different. They coordinate beautifully with the patterns. And they're also, some of them are printed with a gold foiling. Here's just some. Some of them are like frames. This one has like a cutout so that you can make a little Christmas light frame. Here's one that has that gold foiling on it. That's beautiful, easy to put on a card. There's lots of wreaths like this. Oh, that's upside down. Here's this one. There's also labels like this one. And again, this is just a, um, just a small sample of the different ephemera that is in this pack. And then you start getting into the smaller things like ornaments, stars. There's even some little strips that you can add. This one doesn't want to flip over. So just really beautiful and fun pack. And I don't usually use ephemera on my cards. And so it was really fun to kind of play with this and create um, a little different variation for my cards. So here you can see I used these stockings. And this one has a pine cone on it. I did try to place them all in the same general area. That one's some presents. This one was the other half of the stocking. It was a nice long piece and I cut it in half and used the two on two separate ones. This one I combined some smaller ephemera. We've got the holly and then um, two stars. And then of course a poinsettia. And I just love how they all turned out and they're all different. They were so quick and easy and I love that about these cards as well. The patterns that I've used and the color scheme are very strong Christmas candy cane feeling, and I think that's really fun. Um, these were the first Christmas cards that I kind of put together last month, and it was fun to kind of jump right in with some strong colors. The greeting is just this large, gorgeous Christmas greeting, and then I also added the secondary greeting to um, just kind of add another little touch and those both come from the Peaceful Season Bundle. Here is that large Christmas, and then you can kind of mix and match a bunch of other greetings to go along with that. It also includes some beautiful sentiments that you can add inside or outside of your cards. And it does bundle with a die cut set. This die cut set also has a large Christmas die and then kind of a background that you could cut out this uh, greeting from the stamp set or this die cut and layer those together. It's gorgeous. But one thing that I really loved about this stamp or this die set are these labels. And you can see that they create these really gorgeous details when you cut them out. Here's a fun banner 
and then um, this one here. And I didn't use the labels on my cards, but um, I have on some cards and they're really quite pretty. And so um, I'm excited to have those as well. All right, so those are my cards. Um, I love how they turned out. And they were, like I said, quick and easy to make, especially using the sheet load of cards template and then those uh, that pack with the paper and the ephemera. I hope you enjoyed seeing my cards today. If you would like to see a full product list or learn more about card making, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.